How's it going, everyone? Crypto Foxy here. Um, so I just want to bring to you a update on the uh, Sam Bankman Freed trial and uh, let you know about uh, Caroline Ellison's uh, testimony against her former uh, love interest, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, she's trying to play the victim. And uh, yeah, let's have a look and see what she has to say to the court. Uh, before we get into it, though, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get into it. All right. So Caroline Ellison um, starts day two of her testimony against Sam Bankman-Fried. Uh, former Alameda Research CEO Caroline Ellison retook the stand on Wednesday after testifying that her former boss and ex-boyfriend, Sam Bankman-Fried, has directed many of FTX's now public missteps. So Tuesday... She opened by saying that she committed crimes with, with Bankman Freed by sending balance sheets that misstated Alameda's assets and liabilities to the crypto hedge funds lenders and by taking FTX customer funds and using them to repay debts or for investments to the tune of around $10 billion. So over the course of her first day of testimony, Ellison wa walked the jury through how Bankman Freed, uh, despite naming her and uh, Sam as CEO of Alameda, uh, he still largely retained control over the firm's decisions and how he disregarded her advice on issues like whether to expand FTX investment portfolio. So she's pointing all the fingers, right? Um, not surprising. She's trying to play the uh, play the victim here. Um, you know, you're driving down the road, a cop pulls you over and you play the, oh, the innocent little girl game. That's one thing. Like, oh, tee -hee -hee, I didn't realize my car go would go that fast. But I mean, $10 billion of people's money, like just own your shit, right? Um, so Sam gave us a lot of instructions about FTT at various points. He instructed us to buy if there was a large amount of selling or if the price was going down too much, she said. So yeah, so that's basically how this testimony is going to go. She's going to put as much blame on Sam as she can. Um, it's no no secret as to you know how the relationship went. Um, she was very... Her self-esteem wasn't great. I can see Sam being the type of person that he seems to be, um, you know, taking advantage of, you know, her her nature or whatever. However, she still knew what she was doing. And regardless of what she says, she, she can't put all the blame on Sam in this case. Um, you know, pull up your socks. If somebody tells you to jump off a bridge, do you jump? I mean, my mom said that to me how many times when I was a kid, right? Like, just because somebody tells you to do something, you don't do it. Even though, you know, if you you have your conscience, you the good and the bad, right? You know that that is not right. So what the heck? Own your shit. Um, yeah, so we'll continue to see what plays out in the uh, SBF FTX trial. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. I just wanted to bring you that little tidbit because it frustrates the crap out of me. And 